the lovely amazing and beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Esther and my channel is life with the day I do DIY and sewing tutorials and in today's video we're going to learn how to make a corset pattern so we're going to do it um, in two different ways one on the mannequin and the other one will be paper drafting so if you have a mannequin you can try the mannequin method if you don't have then you can also try the paper pattern if you want also you can try both of them to see which one is easier for you so yeah that is what we're going to do today and i want to take this opportunity to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers and um i can't believe i'm already on my way to 800 subscribers i know it's not a lot but i'm really grateful for how far um my youtube channel has come i can't wait to reach 1k subscribers so guys if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet please do that and let's grow this channel together okay so i also want to tell you guys about my etsy shop i have an etsy shop where i do sell um hair bonnet and african print dresses so if you're someone who is interested in this kind of stuff please do check it out uh check it out i'll put the the link to my etsy shop in the description box and also i'll put the name up here on the screen so if you want something from there you can check it out so without talking any further let's get right into today's video <laughs> you would need in order to draft the pattern both on the mannequin and on the brown paper so if you're going to do it on the brown paper you need your basic bodies um, pattern which you can find on Pinterest and also on Google just type in um, the basic bodies pattern and you find the instruction it's really complicated to explain everything here on YouTube so find it and make one for yourself it's really helpful and we also need a ruler a masking tape and a smaller one for indicating your style lines on the mannequin and also a um, tape measure scissors pins and brown paper and by the way if you don't have this kind of tape for the style indication you can also use a bias tape to indicate the style lines so yeah let's get right into the video first start by measuring from your shoulder to under bust and make sure the um, lower side of the bra cap is sitting where the sh um, under bust ends so adjust it and pin it but if your dummy is well endowed in endowed in front then you don't need a bra cap you measure straight from the shoulder to the under bust and then after you've done that start um start to put in your style indicator indicate your style lines where you want um your bust to be your bust line is the fullest part of your bust and also try to indicate your waistline and if your dummy is not like mine that already has the you know the line in front you can also indicate the center front line and the side line so the good thing about this dummy is that i can change to whatever size i want so after you've indicated all the style lines now start putting your masking tape until you achieve the required uh, required style so do that and where there is a bulge or something just cut it and let it lie flat so look at what i'm doing it's really easy and straightforward no need for calculation so all you need is that the measurement or the size of the dummy is what um yeah is the same as the size you're going in for so keep doing it keep putting your masking tape until you get to the side Now 
so if you're satisfied with it now you start to draw in your style line so at the top you can slant it you can make it straight however you want it just you have your free will at this moment to draw in whatever style line you want but i'm going for the basic one so i'm just drawing i'm just following the lines of the bracket and also the line on the the fullest part of the bust from the shoulder and also you know just the basic the basic bracket thing so i'll also draw a line to the side So now that I'm satisfied with all the lines I've made, I'll carefully take out the masking tape. Do it slowly else you ruin everything. So what I'm going to do is to cut out everything and this is what I have. I forgot to mark in the notches so I'm doing that. Don't be like me. Remember to put in the notches before you cut and also try to put in on put some indications on it so that you know where or what is going together the bra cap itself can be really confusing so usually i indicate the one on the side i put s on it and then the one on center front i put cf so that i know where exactly it's going because it's a triangle it can be really confusing you might turn it upside down so when everything is done i'm going to now put it on a brown paper and add allowances So I'll add um, half or quarter of an inch seam allowance to all the sides and one and half inch on the side seam because it's better to add a big allowance than a smaller one. You can always reduce the side allowance after sewing. So I always prefer to put a bigger allowance on the side. So here is our pattern. It's ready with all the notches and indications so I don't get confused. So I always put an arrow to indicate how it's going to face like up or down. So this is easy as you can see and I hope you all can do this for yourself. Now we'll move on to the paper drafting. So I forgot to I forgot and added um seam allowance to the center front. Be we will be cutting that on fold, so remember not to put allowance. So now let's move to the um pattern drafting, the one we do on the so first indicate your apex line which is the biggest part of the bust and then measure from the apex line to your under bust which is three and a half and measure that all round to make a circle mine is three and a half so you can measure from your apex line the fullest part of your bust to your under bust and then you know how much yours is then you can make the cycle so make the cycle and after making the cycle we are going to contour um the the sizing to remove um gaping from the armhole the shoulder line the neckline and the center front this is to remove um any gaping because this pattern has ease so the more you manipulate the pattern the more it gapes so i'll take quarter of an inch from all the lines that i made and then i'll 
join the lines like that i still have the that there so don't focus on the that i didn't do anything to the that so now that the contour lines have been drawn i also take about cut off an inch from the side for a snug fit i'll then slash through the lines and take the that from the lower side of the pattern the waist that and then tape this down and then i'll slash also the shoulder contour and then use the tape to hold it down so i'll do that to all the contour lines as you can see now i'm taking i'm removing the shoulder that and then slash through the neckline contour also and hold it down with a tape also the center front So now we are done with the contouring. Now you can draw in your style line. And I'll, I went um, half an inch out. And also from the neckline, I measured six downwards. And then from the center front, I measured half an inch inward and then drew my style line. so that is it and then i'm going to cut out all the star lines i drew and there we go so what i'm going to do next is to add allowances and this pattern already has allowances on the side and everywhere so i'm going to only put allowances on where it's needed which is the under bust and the center front and also the bust area so put in your notches so you can know where what is going the center front to be cut or fold and yeah we are almost done now i'm putting all the allowances that is needed and yeah i raised that because that is the center front and it will be cut on fold so there is no need to add allowance there unless you want to put a fastening there or there's going to be an opening there then you can add an allowance but with this one it has to be cut on fold so put in all your drawing all your allowances and then indicate that on your brown paper I forgot to do the notches again don't be like me and then at this moment I wanted to go down a bit for the neckline so I went down half an inch and cut it out and our pattern is almost done and if you have any questions please um, ask in the comment section and also if you like this video please give me a thumbs up here are the patterns from both um, methods from the dummy and also from the brown paper you can try any of them and see which one works best for you see you in another video